JME for 22 years. It's unbelievable. As I like to say, 22 years and 40 pounds ago, uh, I, I came to JMU. And um, uh, yeah, I, lo I love it. Uh, the reason that I keep coming back for more is, uh, is the students. Students keep me young. The students keep me uh, plugged in. Rich Hilliard, pictured here in an older section of The Breeze with Stan Lee, is a graphic design professor here at JMU that recently had some of his artwork picked up for a new horror production presented by Shudder. I had set up my display and I had about 20 pieces on display and had just gotten that done and was contemplating going out and getting some dinner. And I saw the promoter of the show uh, in my booth with Greg Nicotero, who's the executive producer of The Walking Dead. And he motioned for me to come over. So I came over and uh, Greg was really interested in my artwork and he loved the fact that my artwork has the, a vintage feel about it. And uh, he really responded to that. And Greg said that uh, he was going to have a premiere in Los Angeles, uh, a screening of the first season of uh, the newly relaunched Creep Show, which uh, originally started in 1982. It was a movie by George A. Romero, who uh, was the director of Night of the Living Dead and was written by Stephen King. But of course, COVID threw a wrench in all that. And then Greg said that he was going to present this to AMC for the key art, the art that would promote this entire second season of the series. Because this was completed back in... I want to say February of Mar or March of last year, two Thursdays ago, AMC dropped this on their Instagram account. And of course I went crazy. My wife went crazy and we were, we put it on Instagram. We put it on Facebook. Uh, so if you go on to AMC plus or shutter and type in creep show, you'll see this image for, uh, for season two. Even though his latest achievement fulfills his dream project, his road to getting there is equally as impressive. I grew up in the valley. All right, I grew up in, near Luray, uh, over on the other side of the mountain, JMU. Graduated from high school, went to New York City. Uh, I got my BFA at Pratt Institute. Ultimately, I got my master. I got one master's degree from Syracuse and another from Hartford in Connecticut. And uh, when I got out of, of uh, my B BFA program, I worked in graphic design and uh, advertising and then uh, quite a bit in exhibit design in a period like from 90 to 94, I was in exhibit design. But all that time I freelanced illustration nights and weekends. And I was always doing horror stuff. A lot of, I've worked for Marvel, I worked for DC, I worked for Dark Horse Comics. And with the exception of, uh, I didn't do any horror stuff for DC. I worked on licensed products for them. So I did like Superman and Batman stuff for them. But uh, Dark Horse and, De uh, uh, and Marvel, it was all horror stuff that I did for them. Aside from his work outside the classroom, the Batman professor cites teaching as his true passion. Teaching, teaching is my career. I've been impressed by the quality of student work since day one. And yes, the students continue to inspire me. And I hope it's a two-way, I hope it's a two-way superhighway with no speed limit. The last thing that I want for any of my students is to wake up at 45, 50 years of age and go, gee, I wish I had done X. Now's the time to do it. Win, lose, or draw, now's the time to do it because you're never gonna be able to go back in time and do it. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out but you will have attempted it. Reporting for Breeze TV, I'm Craig Allison.